Hey 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 it's Gamma Games here and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make a maze game in PowerPoint. This tutorial is going to cover custom animations, triggers, how to disable right click feature within the PowerPoint, how to turn off on slide click to progress, formatting backgrounds, hyperlinks and mouse over actions. Now let's get started. I'm going to add some new slides in by clicking over here and pressing the enter key I'm going to delete everything on the slide this is where I'm going to be making the actual maze I'm going to add another new slide this is the you win slide and another slide for the you lose slide you'll need an extra slide for every level to the maze that you have on the losing slide I'm going to click right click format background and change the color to red on the winning slide, format background, change the colour to green. This is just personal preference, just so I know which is the winning slide and which is the losing slide, and it makes it look nicer. I'm going to draw a giant circle on the winning slide. This is going to be a button that takes you back to the starting menu. So once you've got your circle, right click, hyper, um, oh, wrong thing, right click, hyperlink, place in this document, menu slide or slide one. I'm now going to right click and click copy. On the losing slide, right click and paste and change the color to red. As you can see, the hyperlink has copied with the circle. Now I'm going to go onto the maze slide and start drawing in a border. So I'm just going to add one side of the border for now and color it in which way I want to. Now to make it so when your mouse goes over it and that it will take you to the losing slide, select the shape on the insert tab, click actions, mouse over, hyperlink to, scroll down to slide dot 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 and choose the losing slide. Now when you're in the presentation, when your mouse goes over the border, it will take you to the losing slide. So I'm just going to complete the borders now by copy and pasting. Copy and pasting allows me to not have to re-add an action to the borders every single time. The action will copy with it. So now I'm going to show you how to stop the slide progressing when you click on the background. You click on the animations tab and make sure that this box up here is deselected that way when you click on the background it won't progress to the next slide if you go into slideshow and set up slideshow select the browsed at quisk full screen option and that way when you right click in the um, presentation nothing will pop up so that will stop you being able to right click and then just jump to the end of the maze stopping cheating basically. So now I'm going to draw the rest of the maze. So now you've got the rest of the maze drawn you're going to want to make the button that takes you from the menu slide to the maze. So I'm going to add a circle here in the starting position Oh, that wasn't exactly a circle, sorry, I've got a little bit of OCD kicking in here. And draw that in the starting position of your maze. Now cut the circle, I used Control X to do that, and paste it on here. As you can see, I need to move the starting box down. So I'm just repositioning the starting box so that when I click Start, my mouse is in the correct position in the maze. As I said, I've got a bit of OCD, so I'm just repositioning the box to make it symmetrical. I'm going to color this green, green for go. So that's now in the correct position. I've just noticed a mistake here. I've input the text in the wrong order for my instructions. It's useful to have instructions, even for a simple game, just so people know what they're doing. 
So I'm just going to quickly change this. There you go. Right, so I'm going to add a hyperlink. I showed you how to do that earlier. Right click hyperlink in this document, slide two. So when I click this, it will take me to this maze. And as you can see, if I go over the border, it takes me to the losing slide. So again, I can click on start and it will take me to the beginning of the maze. Now I'm going to add in a sliding door. So when you click a button, a door will open, allowing you to progress with the rest of the maze. So you want to draw in your door and you want to draw in your button. Colour them how you want. Make sure your door is made up of the same stuff as the border so that it already has the action on it. You can recolour it if you want to make it look different. Now click on your door, click animations, custom animation, add effect, exit, and I'm going to make it wipe, just so it has a door effect. To make it look more like a sliding door, I'm going to do it from left, so it looks like it's sliding into the wall. I'm going to right click, timing, triggers, start on click of, circle, so now when I click the circle, the door should open. I'm also going to make the circle disappear so that once you click it the door is permanently open because otherwise you'll click the circle again and the door will reload and then swipe again reload and swipe again rather than just opening again so if I progress through the maze As you can see there's a door there, click the button and it swipes open, allowing me to progress through the level. Okay. This is a very useful tool, there's a lot of things you can do with triggers, a lot more complex than this. I'm now going to make some moving parts to the maze. So I'm just going to position them where I want them to be. and I'm going to add a motion path to them so that they move. I want them to move further than that so I'm going to change the motion path. You can just adjust the motion path to the exact length that you want it. Now that time I moved them too far, I don't want it quite that far. So now when I play, they should be just where I want them. There you go, that, that's exactly where I want them to be. I'm going to do the same with the others. Just move them down a little bit. Motion path, draw a custom path. So I'll all start with previous, timings, I don't want it to be smooth, I want it to reverse once it's done playing, and I want it to repeat until the end of slide. So there you go, it reverses and goes back to where it came from. I also want it to be a bit faster than that, there you go. So if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to add animations and triggers, then go and have a look at my animation tutorial quickly. It will be very helpful if you find that I'm moving too fast in this tutorial. So you click the button and just dodge through these. It's not too difficult but you can change the speed, make them do a, a more complex motion path if you want. So I'll go back up here and show you that if you actually get hit it will take you to the losing slide. So something we do need to do in a minute is add an exit button. 
that will take you out of the slide. But first we're going to make a winning button that basically means you completed the maze. So this, this button will take you to the victory slide. I've removed all animations from it, I didn't need them. And I'm going to add a hyperlink to the victory slide. So when you click that, it will take you to the victory slide. Now this exit button, we're going to not add a hyperlink, silly me. We're going to go to the insert tab, actions, mouse click, end slide. So when we click that, it will end the presentation. That's about it for today's tutorial really. I hope you found this useful. I'm just going to have another quick run through through the maze. Check that everything's working. Yep, you run into the border, it takes you to the losing slide. You click the button, it opens the door. These moving parts are moving nice and smoothly and how they should. And last but not least, the victory button takes you to the victory slide. And the exit button finishes it all. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching guys. Want any more PowerPoint tutorials? Just ask in the comments below. Hope you found this useful. Hope you uh, make a good maze game. If you want, post a video a response down in the description below of your PowerPoint games. See you next time and goodbye.